Greetings! I am a person of minor importance to your life, and here we are giving a presentation over this card. Except, just kidding, we are doing it over this card. And this is Miss Stucky Weber from the Goshen Public Library, and I'm just going to turn it over her, to her while I stare at the camera, annoyingly. Thanks, Alex. Uh, I'm the team coordinator at the Goshen Public Library, and we're here today to talk about your e-resource card, which is a card that hopefully all of you have received by now, and it gives you access to all of Goshen Public Library's online resources. That includes ebooks, audiobooks, uh, digital online databases, magazines that are online, music, movies, and a whole lot more. Um, so I'm going to walk you through sort of how to get started with your e-resource card, if you haven't already. And um, I'm also, after this presentation, if you still have more questions, you can always talk to Mrs. Miller in the library, or you can come talk to me or anyone else at the Goshen Public Library. Also, if this card gets you excited and you want more resources, come in and get a regular library card. We'd love to see you. All you need to do is bring an adult with you who has a photo ID. So next, uh, we're going to talk about how to get started with your e-resource card. The card gives you access to all of the digital resources available at the Goshen Public Library, and this includes ebooks, audiobooks, movies, music, databases, and lots more. So I'll be walking you through the process of getting started with your e-resource card. If you still have questions after this presentation, talk to Mrs. Miller at school or come talk to anybody here at the Goshen Public Library. So uh, I'm going to start by going to the e-resource landing page. This is sort of your home base um, and you can find this web address on the front of your card. Once you're here, you can change your PIN number if you'd like to do that although it's also fine to just keep the 1234 PIN number on your card. If uh, you forget your PIN and you're not able to log in, please talk with Mrs. Miller or you can come into the library or you can see our phone number there as well and we can assist you with that. So scrolling down the page here, you will see all the different resources that are available to you uh, with your e-resource card. These are a variety of databases and other uh, online informational websites that you have access to, and these will be very helpful to you uh, for research projects, uh, for other projects at school, or just for your own personal interest. Along with those databases, you also get access to a lot of content services. The first one is OverDrive. OverDrive gives you access to ebooks and audiobooks. At the top there, you'll click to go to the website. Once you get there, it's going to prompt you to sign in, and it will ask you for your library, which is the Goshen Public Library, and then it will ask you for your card number. You'll enter that from the back of your card, and then put in your PIN number. Then you'll see there's a little checkbox that says, Remember My Card Number on this device. That's really helpful so that you don't have to type in your card number every single time. Once you're in, you can search for an ebook or an audiobook to read or listen to. The next service is Zinio, which gives you access to magazines uh, that you can read directly from your computer. If you scroll down this page, you'll find the link to get there. And once you're there, it's going to ask you to log in. If you haven't been here yet, you'll need to create a new account. The first time you do that, it will ask for your card number and your PIN number. Then it's going to ask you to create a login. I suggest using your school email as your login. And it's also going to ask you for a password. Use a password that's going to be easy for you to remember. You can reset it if you need to, however. Once you've created an account, the next time you log in, it's only going to ask for that email address and password. It won't ask for your card number each time. So I'm going to highlight two titles you might be interested in. The first is Teen Vogue. This magazine, though it does have a lot of fashion tips and advice like that, it also has a lot of articles about world events and um, things that may, other things that may be of interest to you. So once you click checkout, you can read it right away on your computer. Another title you might be interested in is ESPN, the magazine, for all of your sports news. 
Once you've checked out a title, you can read it as many times as you'd like. It never disappears uh, from your device. There's also a Zinio app that you can download so that you can uh, also look at them on your phone or tablet. All right, the last service is Hoopla. Hoopla is a little bit different in that it has almost everything. Movies, music, ebooks, TV shows, a little bit of everything. When you get to Hoopla, uh, just like Zinio, you're going to have to create an account. If you haven't been here before, you'll click on Get Started. You'll start with uh, an email address and password. It's totally fine to use the same password for both Hoopla and Zinio, and I recommend it. It'll be less uh, easy to forget that way. Once you finish that, your first time again, it will ask for your card number and your PIN number from your e-resource card. When you come back, it'll only ask you to log in with your email and password. Once you've created your account, you are ready to search for content of all types, ebooks, audiobooks, comics, TV shows, movies, even music. Uh, each of those things has a different requirement for how long you can check them out, so make sure you're paying attention to that. I hope this tutorial helps you get started with your e-resource card and so that you can explore all the resources available to you. All right, next we will hear from Deacon. He's going to be showing you one of the titles he recommends from Overdrive. Okay, so here, yeah, sign in first. And then you can just go to search and search whatever book you want. And then you just click on the book and click borrow for 21 days. Then you use, click on the right side to go to flip through the pages and, and then you just keep going until you're done with the book. Left, left click to go back. And now we'll hear from Caden who will feature um, uh, something from Hoopla. Today I will be presenting to you Hoopla. First you go to digital and click on the Hoopla link. Then you scroll down and go to the link to go to the site Hoopla. Then you go to browse, I chose movies. And then I scrolled down and clicked on the movie Paddington. You click borrow and it will load and then Press play and it'll play the movie for you. You can have six titles during one month. Well, thanks so much for having me. It was good to have you here. If you have any questions about the e resource card, you can go to Mrs. Miller in the library here at the school or you can go to the Goshen Public Library if you have any questions. Please do not forget everything we just told you, but sadly this is on video so you can just go back.